Welcome to Take Two of Let's Play Discuss Punch Out for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wigan and the Star Soldier. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? You mean like take your Take Two at Mr. Dream, right? Like, because you had a recent recording and you save state and you, you, you're editing it together like that, right? That's what you're talking about. Well, that too. This is yeah, our first story, honest. Yeah, <laughs> I've not. I'm Mr. Dream. I've never you're seen that sprite man. before. You're dreaming. <laughs> I've never seen a sprite. It's basically Mike Tyson, but with white skin or color palette. My bad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mean He's to drag Mike race. Tyson. Yeah. I just guide myself a Mr. Yeah. <laughs> guide myself a Mr. Dream because I want a shot at the Little Mac. Oh, so don't make fun of him. That makes him mad. It makes me mess up. You wouldn't like me when I'm mad. Cover your ears. This is actually a fight based off a real life fight between J Man and Wee Guy. I don't know. I didn't tip it, his didn't tip his chair over though, or I didn't wait. No, it would be the other way around. I tipped my hat off to you for that. Oh, thank you. All right, so yeah, Mr. Dream fights exactly as Mike Tyson. Yeah, basically ninety expect... seconds of pure hell. Yeah, it does get a little easier after this, but it's still hard. That first minute and thirty seconds is one hit knockdowns. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't know. Shut up. Well, I mean, I I remember that because he's always like, huh, huh, and if you get hit, then yeah, you, you're, you're knocked down. But after like the first round, it's you can be hit and you're okay. It's not instant. Yeah, he's huh, huh. It's not like uh, I forgot that game in Action 52, the ninja where you get hit or you hit someone. Huh, huh, ninja huh, huh. Assault. Yeah. You actually remember that game? <laughs> well, I've seen various <laughs> reviews and maybe GM to make fun of it. All right, so that's the end of round one. I'm gonna hold select here, but that's not gonna do much good. He's hurt me, Doc. Wow, that is like weird. Yeah, he looks friendly right there, and then in the ring, he just kill you. Yeah, yeah he doesn't look as scary. Yeah. Yeah, he always has a big smile on his face. Yeah. <laughs> He's just he's just happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> well he's part of the dream team. The yeah. dream team. Yeah. Dream about the dream team, Mr. Dream. Yeah. What else is there? Yeah. The Dream Apocalypse. Yeah. Dream Apocalypse. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I want that to be something. The Dream Apocalypse. Maybe that could be like Mr. Dream's return in the next punch out game. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, they should make a new punch out game. They did for the Wii. Yeah, I mean for the Wii U though. Newer. The yeah. next installment. Newer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe they should uh involve the Wii U the Wii balance pad board pad board. Yeah. Bring that thing back and you can actually stand on it and like move. Actually that wouldn't work out too well probably. <laughs> Oh, he's seeing stars. Oh no! Oh! Oh! Do 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 do. EC dump. EC dump. <laughs> that star needed a soldier with it. Oh, I get it. It's ECW. That's Mr. Dreamer. Th th that's Tommy yeah. Dreamer. I'm fighting Tommy Dreamer here. Who's Tommy Dreamer? From ECW. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> star soldier knows him. Who? No, I know him. Yeah. Oh man, little Mac is messed up. Right, come on now, I'm not, I'm not down, Mr. Dream, a few times, and I hated that. Like the final bosses, they didn't get, never got hurt, in, in the screen right here. Yeah, man, can't bust that chin. I apologize for the laggage here. The audio is a little behind. That's what I get. That's what I get. That's what I get for using a safe state. <laughs> yeah. I got tired of starting over again. And this, <laughs> oh man, I, I lost him so many times. Makes sense. Yeah, it, it's always annoying in in that the you know password. Yeah. Especially the password that gives you the zero and two record. Yeah. It's just Nintendo making fun of you. Yeah. Yeah, you can fight Tyson in a dream, but yeah, yeah, you got a losing record. Yeah. There was one password you would use where you you would be ninety nine and oh. Uh, that's my Tyson punch. I don't know about this one, but whatever. Oh man, just 
Get him down. You can do it. I got okay. over 5,000 points. <laughs> Is that right, Star Soldier? Over 5,000 yeah. points, you can't win by decision if you last that long. Yeah. Mario only gives you a few mercy points. Yeah. Can you be the Punch-Out World Champion? Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's some people that are just nuts about this on Twin Galaxies. Huh. Like, get oh. the, you know, like, crazy records on this game. All right, yes, Lil Mac is the new Brock Lesnar. He conquered another streak. Mr. Dream is 99 and 1. Oh my god, you did it! Great finger speed. That doesn't make any sense. He was was he <laughs> using the speedboard accessory? Yeah. <laughs> Put some speed at your fingertips. Yeah, that's what I used for the emulators. Uh, uh what's it called? The speedboard. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, yeah, it's a piece yeah. of version of that. It's a piece of <laughs> freaking plastic. Yeah. You use your fingers to type in the save states very well, Mac. Yeah. Oh, that's speedboard. Gotcha. There's Venom 22. Wario? Actually, that, could look, that could look like a Star Soldier if he shaved his head. <laughs> Maybe. Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes. What up, Holmes? Super Macho Man, Randy Savage. He's gray oh, yeah. The heck? He's like 23 years old. How is he gray headed? Stop it to a slug, Jim. 14 and 0 with the safe state. <laughs> yeah, that's. We gotta factor that in. Yeah. Alright, so that is the end of Let's Play Punch Out for the NES. It is a great game. Same thing, of course, as Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And I never understood why they got rid of Mike Tyson three years later just because he lost to Buster Douglas. <laughs> like, oh, well, whatever. But anyway, uh, with or without Mike Tyson's a great game, but of course Mike Tyson is what sold the game. Um, countless hours of fun with this game. I mean, I play this game with various friends. We all try to try our best to beat the hardest boxers like Bald Bull, um, Soda Pop Pinsky, Super Macho Man, Mr. Sandman. There were times where Don Flamenco was hard. Um, Glass Joe was the toughest. No, not really, but, uh, um, but, I mean, yeah, this game is definitely fun. Real popular, especially among me and my friends. Uh, my Tyson's Punch-Out was one of the top games we played a lot and wanted to borrow from each other. Um, so, yeah, and, but, yeah, Little Mac, they, they made him real small in the game so you can actually see <laughs> your opponents. because it's, it's different from the arcade version. I never knew that an arcade version existed until years and years later. I thought Mike Tyson's Punch-Out was the first one of its kind. But, yeah, this game is definitely ECW. Definitely one of the best boxing games of all time. Probably the best boxing game ever, really. I mean, I've I played other boxing games like Rocky for the Master System. Not very good. Um, Evander Holyfield, real deal boxing for SNES. And, eh, not too good either. Uh, I've never played Buster Douglas boxing. Um, and yeah, there's no. other, huh? Don't. It's uh, awful. <laughs> I never played Ring King or anything like that, but uh, I mean, the few boxing games I played, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, definitely the best one. I give it a nine out of ten. Star Soldier. Oh yeah, this game. I grew up on it. My brother got it as like a birthday present or something, and you know. It didn't look too impressive because I remember actually playing the arcade version that came out way back in 1984. And it looked so impressive with its scale and graphics, huge characters, and two screens that you can actually look at. One for like the health bars and one that actually shows the box in that action itself. And then you see the original Nintendo version and yeah, a lot was taken away. But when you actually go and play it, and you see the little nuances and improvements that they made, it feels like a much tighter game, and he has so many cool opponents to fight. You know, <laughs> to the weak limb, like last show, with a 1-99 record, he's always fun to beat up. You know, to more pressure cookers, like King Hippo and Great Tiger, who's, you know, techniques are a little tricky at first, but once you got their patterns down, you know, they're more fun to fight against. And that's what made the game so enduring throughout the years. Yeah, the stereotypes are a little bit offensive now. And 
yeah, I like the Wii version so much more <laughs> better than going back to this older edition. But there's no denying what impact this game had. You know, Tyson or not, <laughs> it's still a cool game either way. And I give it a 79 out of 100. All right. We guy? All right. So here it is. It's Punch-Out. I mean, like you said, it's basically Mike Tyson's punch out, except at the end, you find Mr. Dream. So everything about this game is the same, which is, you know, not a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you know, the decision for them not to renew... Uh, Tyson's, uh, I guess, name or, or, yeah, their license, not to renew their license was, mm, you know, whatever. It was in the past their decision to do it, whether it was for him losing that fight or just not wanting to pay any more money to him. I say, you know, this re-release was a, I don't know, not like a necessary, but it's, you know, it's it's there and it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice addition to have. Uh, obviously nothing different gameplay-wise and music-wise, but still it's the classic punch-out that we've all come to know and love. And um, I've still yet to play this version. Obviously, I need to get the the card for this this one, which is obviously uh, way cheaper. Just um, just because it's it's not the Mike Tyson's version, which is interesting because you would think there would be less copies of this version because you know three years after the original in '87, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Now it's like 1990. It's like it's like uh you know it's just really it's whatever. But aside from that, Punch Out still great classic game and i would probably um give it an eight out of ten i think when they re-released when when they released this version they didn't re they only released a limited amount is that right i'm probably yeah i'm probably guessing i mean might be the yeah. same with like the uh, gray versions of zelda one and two yeah there's the you know i don't know whole controversy thing oh it's gotta be rare because tyson's in it but <laughs> actually, yeah, the just punch out edition is actually a little bit more uncommon, but both sold like over a million copies, so you're not gonna get like a super rare same event, no. <laughs> it's yeah. just something that's a little piece of history and nothing that's too you know, rare. But you could easily sell them for like thirty bucks if you had your own store. Yeah. So well. jack up the prices. You're like no, no, stop that! <laughs> Ruining the hobby, right? Yeah, Star Soldier. No, well, Star Soldier works at the game store. That's why he wants people. Yeah, that's his. That's his own thing. He, yeah, mm -hmm. but he's not a store. He's a. He's. Bill his Gates one one baby. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a jackass and jack up the prices, Jack. <laughs> Honestly, I can't get the game anymore. Nobody wants to trade it in. You would think, in a way, it's worth more than my Tyson's Punch Out because it's kind of. You would think it's more rare because it released limited editions. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to LP this one instead of Mike Tyson's one, because it's like, well, Mike Tyson's punch out be the most obvious game to LP. Let's, <laughs> let's do something a little bit different and go with the Mr. Dream Edition, even though it's basically the same thing. And when I was a kid, my grandpa took me to, I forgot where, Walmart or somewhere, Toys R Us, to buy a game. And I chose, I chose to buy this version, or maybe that's because the only one I can get at the time. I had this version to punch out. I had this cart uh, of of this version of punch out right here. So it is, it is pretty cool. But, but anyway, that is all we have to say about this game. Definitely a great game. Fun LP to do. And with that said, we are out of here on Ron Moore. This is the Wii guy. And Star Soldier 1, baby. God bless and take care. Wait, be sure to check this game out. Yeah. yeah, it was a dream. Dream on, oh, dream weaver. I believe you can get me through the fight. Yeah. <laughs>